Uh, so guys, welcome. Uh, let's talk finance. Uh, here with Angelo Benedetti. Uh, Angelo? There's a lot of talk of finance at the moment. Uh, big one is um, you know, the bank's pre-approvals. A lot of banks are doing pre-approvals automatically and not yep. taking the time to do it properly. Okay, so we're um, talking about an auto... Auto-approved. So auto you, you tick okay. three boxes, you're automatically approved. Okay. It means nothing at all. It's not okay. a proper approval. Right. The bank hasn't done all the searches, all yep. the correct information and all the checks. So it's okay. not really worth anything at all. RP data, they come up with an auto valuation. So talk to us about how that affects approvals. Yeah, it, it has a place in it. A lot of banks use that as a guide, uh, okay. more so for existing property. If clients are purchasing a property, then the banks will do their own checks or yep. use the purchase price and contract as the correct valuation. So okay. RP data is used as a useful tool, but it's only a guide, yeah. um, but not used correctly to make sure that that is the true valuation. So We had a client at auction, uh, they had gone to their bank, they put up the RP data valuation, it said it was worth 700, we're at auction, we're at 850,000. They're not bidding. They had an approval of well over in a million. Yeah. They said we can't bid because if we go over 700, the bank won't give us a loan. Sure. So that does happen with certain banks. Um, I suppose the benefits of a broker is that we can use 40 banks Australia wide. Yeah. Uh, when the client goes to one bank, they're limited wow. with the parameters of the one bank only and one yeah. option. So yeah. it does happen. The RP data in that case, I probably wouldn't believe it's actually worth anything from that <laughs> point of view. I've got to be careful saying that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because the market is what someone's prepared to pay for it. Yeah. So um, in that case, we'd encourage someone to speak to oh. a broker, get yeah. their advice, yeah. shop it around to get the best uh, pro terms of uh, approvals and amounts because it does vary from bank to bank. Obviously rates are quite low today. Yes. Uh, we're going to find out at 2.30 p.m. what's going to happen on hold versus uh, the possible decrease. What's your thoughts? Yeah, uh, all the economists are saying two potential possible rate drops in the next six months. Um, the, the, the mail this morning is it's a 50-50 call. Okay. There's obviously an election in two weeks, so uh, they're a bit concerned what that's going to do. Um, but What's my, your personal opinion? My personal opinion is they'll leave it on hold and okay. then they'll drop next I'll month. I'll go with the drop. drop. I'll go with the drop. Yeah, look, it's a 50-50 yeah. call. What's some of the best rates out there at the moment? Uh, for owner occupiers, so if you're living in the house, uh, there's rates as low as 3.55 for okay. certain clients. Um, yep. uh, fixed rates as low as 3.69. So yep. uh, banks are also pretty sharp on investment loans at the moment. They went yep. quite for some time and investment rates are at 3.89 fixed wow. for two years. Okay. So rates are sharp, uh, yep. banks are lending. You just yep. got to get the right advice and the right help to help you along the way. Clients don't know what they can't borrow or can borrow. Yep. Every bank will tell you differently. We can have five different banks and five different outcomes. Yep. Um, our, our job as a broker is to sit down with the client, understand the situation, their goals, their needs, and get them the best result. Great. Awesome. Thanks, Angelo. Thank you, Les. Guys, uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to email us back. Uh, we'll post this on social and uh, an email. But uh, from all of us here at Oz Property and uh, Financia, uh, we look forward to seeing you this time again next week. Great. For the update finance. Thank you. Cheers. See you soon.